I dare you to join my math challenge. Is that a really cheesy way for me just to get you to sign up? Well, yes, but I kind of have some good intentions for why I would want you to sign up for my 30 day math challenge. I'm not selling you anything, but I am giving away some things. Oops, I didn't mean to let that one slip. At least not yet. I wanted you to join the challenge first, not just to join the challenge to get free stuff, but whatever, the cat's out of the bag. So if you've already signed up, congratulations. Thank you so much. If you're still kind of wondering what is a 30 day math challenge and why should you join it? Let me go and explain in this video. The 30 day math challenge is a challenge that I came up with a couple of years ago when my students came to me and said, Miss McLogan, I'm having a really hard time being able to prepare and study for your exams. A lot of times students felt like they understood the information, they could do well on homework, they could do well on quizzes, but when it came down to tests and to exams, they always felt like they did worse. Sometimes they blame it on like the tests were always harder. Sometimes they blame it on the questions that I chose saying, you taught us how to do A, B, and C, but then you gave us problems that looked like X, Y, and Z. Or sometimes they just felt like they never had enough time or they couldn't cram in all the information that they were supposed to know. And when I looked at what they were doing, I realized that, yeah, I was not setting them up for success. I gave them a classic review and told them to study their notes, but what did the students do? They often did the review a couple days before the test or exam, and then they would just cram study their notes, usually like one or two nights before. And I knew right then, like that is not a recipe for success. I, as a struggling math student, have been through this before. And I also studied for math tests just like they did. But I realized that I was not preparing them for their upcoming exam as well as I should. And while it's not a very exciting thing to say, here's how you're going to study for exam, I had to come up with something to help the students be engaged, to actually want to learn how to study for a math exam. So that's where we came up with the 30 day math challenge. Now I gotta be clear, the 30 day math challenge is not actually designed to prepare you for your math exam. Will it though? Of course it's going to help. I just don't want you to rely on it exclusively for your own test or exam. The 30 day math challenge is designed to teach you discipline. I know, exciting, right? But it's also designed to show you what you need to do to prepare for your tests and exams. You need to be consistent when you are studying for your math exams. Yes, you do need to be doing math problems. Yes, you do need to be reviewing your notes. But if you think doing that all within a week's time, or in the night before, you're going to be disappointed because that's not enough time for your brain to be able to digest all that information. What is the 30 day math challenge? Well, it's basically me sending you a math problem to do every single day. Now, the cool thing is I have 30 day challenges for algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus as well as calculus. So you can sign up for one of them or all of them. It really kind of depends on how much math you really are looking to do. Just make sure you don't overdo it. Now you might be saying, Miss Mungo, I just have to do one math problem. Isn't that kind of easy? Well, one of my more favorite quotes that Jim Rohn said was what's easy to do is easy not to do. And a lot of students will look at this challenge and say, all right, I just need to do a math problem a day. Like that's too easy. Why would I even try to do that? But guess what? A lot of students can't complete the 30 day math challenge. It's hard to do the same thing for 30 days. Even even if it is just one little math question. Now, are some of the problems really hard that are gonna challenge you? Yeah, some of them are. Are some of them really easy where you can just do them in your head? Yeah, some of them are. It really is a mix. And I designed the problems to give you a overall good summary of what you should know for each of those classes. But again, it's not a comprehensive review. It's really there to kind of, as we say, prime the pump, right? Get you ready and prepared for exam season because I know you're gonna have an exam coming up, right? There's nothing worse than looking at full page of notes and <laughs> the night before the test and being completely overwhelmed, like, holy crap, how am I going to learn and remember all of this stuff? The Challenge is easy on purpose because how many times have we said, oh yeah, we're going to do something or I can do that. We do it for a day, maybe a couple days, maybe even a week, but then the shine rubs off and we just kind of realize that, uh, I don't really want to do it today. And then we just kind of give up on it, right? That's why I'm challenging you to complete this challenge because by the end of this challenge, I want to be able to give you confidence that you can be successful in math. You can complete this challenge. There's going to be some days you're going to get that email with that one math problem and you're going to get it done immediately. Then there's going to be other days you're going to get that email and you're like, ah, I don't want to do this math problem right now. I have too many things going on. That is when you need to be able to decide, am I doing this challenge or not? Am I going to be disciplined enough to complete what I started? Because that's the thing, guys. A lot of us know that we need to be studying for much longer than the couple days before our test. We know we need to be doing more practice problems. And we might do that for a day or two, but then we just kind of get stuck. Maybe we get stuck on a problem or we don't know how to do it and we just give up. I don't want you to do that. That's why I had to create this smaller challenge. So therefore you can feel what it's like to be successful in completing a challenge. So if you need help 
reviewing for an exam, the 30 day challenge is really designed for you. If you maybe just want to review, brush up on some math concepts, maybe you're not taking a math this year. Maybe you're taking a course that is above or below. Like feel free to take the challenge. Like if you're an algebra one, obviously taking an algebra two challenge is going to be challenging on the math scale. But I only have algebra one through calculus available this year. You can take as many challenges as you want, but just don't overdo yourself. It's not worth a grade. Now, remember when I said I was going to be giving away some things? Yes, I'm listening. Well, that's true. Each and every week, in addition to me emailing you a math problem to do, I'm also going to send you the answer as well as a video of me working through the exact same problem I sent you the day before. Then at the end of each week on Friday, we will go live. And during those live streams, I'm excited to give away some fun stuff because I want this challenge to be fun. Like, and I want you to enjoy being a part of doing a challenge, but I want you to be proud for completing this challenge. Yes, I'm doing it for alternative motives. I want you to be successful in math and I want you to build discipline. But I realize a lot of students need a little bit more engagement. And I think by having some giveaways and a live stream might just encourage you to keep going when you want to quit. So the challenge is really easy to join. All you simply need to do is go to brianmclogan.com forward slash challenge. Then enter in your information. I do need your name and your email so I can send you the problem, but then go ahead and select which challenge you want to. Again, you can opt in as many times as you like. Then on March 1st, the challenge begins. So if you are thinking about, oh, I'll do this later, or if you're watching this after March 1st, I'm sorry, the challenge has been closed, but you can definitely join next year.